Good morning, at least uh, at the time I recorded this. It's currently 8 in the morning. My cat woke me up at 6 in the morning. Uh, I proceeded to cook breakfast and make myself a latte. Uh, of course, we gotta play the Yoshi. Uh, Torunament uh, for Cheap Cheap. We're playing the Cheap Cheap Torunament. I figured, what better chill way to start my day than a little bit of Mario Golf, you know? Finally got some wind up in this. The real play. Yeah, hey, watch this. This is the nice shot. I did super backspin because there's a little plateau right there. I want that plateau. Fix my green screen. I'm not on the plateau. Big yikes. I think if I do this, I might be in good shape. I'm in bad shape. It's in terrible shape. But yeah, Jill got a uh, an espresso machine for Christmas. I have um, first and foremost, you got to be a little plugged in with the uh, YouTube sports community. But I brought that's good sports Brandon Perna's coffee. I got the five points blend because it's the best blend. I missed the points. You need multiplayer for the blend. So I got a little bit of five points blend espresso in here. I got. Um, uh oh. I got some milk. I got some. Sugar-free French vanilla sweetener. Uh, oop, that wasn't good. And then I also... Uh-oh, Bogey. Bogey. Major, my only complaint about her espresso machine is you gotta microwave it. It just does not come out hot enough. It never will come out. But the five points blend is so freaking... Oh my god, it was just the milk and the coffee, no sweetener. I could have drinking it like that. Then you add in that French vanilla. I forgot I'd tell you guys uh, that cinnamon sugar, the cream, that's a 10. Sorry for the annoying noises. You just gotta know the meme culture to understand. Uh, let's just plop you right here. Yeah. Uh, I wake up at six in the morning every morning. It's really consistent. I don't think I need any sign shot. Six in the morning, every morning. My cats wake up. Nice on. Birdie butt. Feeling like P. Diddy. Uh forgot the rest of that song. Because like a 2010 pop. Up in the morning, feeling like P. Diddy. Something about with the bottle of Jack because I ain't coming back. Alright? Uh, they go to the bathroom, and I don't know what it is with the Babby Cat. Babby Cat, every time she goes to the bathroom, has to meow up a storm. She will announce the whole house. Hey guys, I pooped. Thanks, Babby. I needed to know that at 6 in the morning. Thank you for coming up on my chest and meowing in my face to announce the fact that you had just pooped. You know? So, I don't even set an alarm clock anymore. There's no point to, to have an alarm clock, actually. Because I have Babby Cat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, a little birdie putt? A little birdie putt. Birdie putt right here. Watch this. Nice bird. Very well done. So yeah, got my latte. 
I have ate some breakfast, and I now know that baby cat pooped, even though I know she does every morning at 6 in the morning. Ah, this is a good way to start the morning. Mm. Gotta split the trees. You'd be crazy for this one. We'll try it. Nice shot. That looks like it's going right in between the trees, as long as it doesn't bounce to the left. We'll be chill. Mm, still no power shot, really. Nice shot. Just keep bopping up those rainbows. Um, another reason why I'm streaming, still. I thought the first day of the semester was going to be today. Because I have my first class on Tuesday. Uh, turns out, no. No way, man. Oh, that's bad. Um, MLK Day really goofed the situation, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. A little birdie pet. So... There was no school yesterday. I thought there would be class today, but apparently not. Then I looked online last night because I'm anxious about it. Apparently the first day of the semester is tomorrow. Right? Nay, nay. The first day of instruction is on Thursday. So I'm missing two classes because the first day of instruction is Thursday. And I know this is going to come out like way later, but... I mean... <laughs> All I really have to say is CSU's what the hell is going on? Get it together, buddy. Oh, okay, that works. I know I got a homie out there who went to, you know, Fresno State, and graduated from the mechanical engineering department. He knows it all too well. Just like that Taylor Swift song. All too well. I'm liking it. It's tasty. Oh, bad bee. Nice. Oh, birdie putt. Oh, it's still just a birdie putt? I thought we'd be going for Grand. Just aim for the side of the cup. A little extra loving. Make loving. Right nice there. Birdie. Very well done. So, yeah. combination of the school anxiety uh, on top of, you know, kitty alarm clock, and a little bit of hunger. Let's be honest, man. I was hungry. I made some good-ass breakfast. So. You know, might as well do this instead of uh, watching a stream, you know? Mm, okay, this is complicated. I think this one you're going to want a little extra oomphus get around those trees. Let's see if it work. Oh, wait. Yeah, well, let's just try it. We'll see what happens. You know, if I hit on the bottom part of the ball, right where my thumb's at, it hits it higher in the air, and that higher arc will allow the wind to carry it a little more. I don't think that's the play. I think this is the play right here. Watch this. Aim for the front of the green. I'm just gonna roll that bad bee in. Watch this. Uh, too far. Way too far. I guess I should have backspun. Oh. Okay, it just dips to the left a little bit. Not a whole lot. Maybe a little. This might be enough. A little downhill slope to it. That's how I feel, Yoshi. I think we're still nice killing ball. the tournament, though, so... Not, nothing to worry about. <sighs> nice. I guess next tournament I'm gonna go ahead and try a different character. Maybe there's some animations, some sick animations, you know? That's about four. It's a four iron. It it has a long uh, what would you call it carry thing that where it bounces really far. 
Yeah, maybe just a regular This is a butt ass up. Maybe oomph it up there. Oompa, oompa. That's right, I was gonna talk about breakfast. So for breakfast, I made some sweet potatoes O'Brien, and I had some turkey frozen up from the holidays. I defrosted it about a week ago. I've been slowly eating away at that turkey again. Well, let's check it out. Let's see what happens there. It don't get better, man. I just had to warm up, and now I'm goaded again. So anyways, Potatoes O'Brien sliced up some turkey, fried them both together, and, uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of turkey either. Or there wasn't, there was plenty of turkey, don't get it. There's always plenty of turkey. Not a whole lot of Potatoes O'Brien. Bri. Um, so I had to supplement. What did I... What did I supplement it in? Nice on. Supplemented Earth it with a little bit of pizza bread. A little, little frozen pizza bread. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really got to move it up there. Oh, it's showing me the cup. It's showing me the... Nice bird. Very well done. Very well done. Just kind of like that pizza bread. It came out frozen, you know? So I didn't know how long to cook it for. Give it a little extra couple minutes. Uh, it came out very well done. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but not in the rain. Don't even try. I would go for the grand if I could, but listen. Not in the rain. You never want to walk in the rain. Talk about rain. That would be pop fans, anyone? In the rain. 300 yards. Perfect. Don't worry about it. No rainbow, no problem. God, I'm about to get another latte. I really shouldn't, though. You know what I'm saying? Not perfect. Good. raining. Oh, that hurts. That hurts to be right in the gooch. Oh. 0.25 feet, huh? Is that like three inches? That's so good. I'm kind of upset that my girlfriend didn't get a latte machine for Christmas. Not because, you know, no one got me a latte machine for Christmas. But more because... Nice shot. Dude, I, I'm just gonna be drinking lattes 24-7. You know what I mean? Nice on. Dirty butt. And, uh... You know, a wise man once told me too much of anything isn't good for you, baby. You know? Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice ball. Woo! I'm coming up with uh, a lot of references this morning. It's probably because, you know, what do the scientists say? They say, like, you're most productive right when you wake up or something like that. Of course, this is accounting for the fact for um, not waking up and immediately watching YouTube for 20 hours. Oh. Oh. Hey, what the hell am I supposed to be doing here? I've never seen this angle. This is crazy. Okay, let's give it 
little more juice. Watch this, guys. Now watch this drill. Hey, not the best thing in the world, but... Uh-oh. Fuck. Ow, oh, 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 oh. Um... Yeah, so you're supposed to be most productive, like, early in the morning, or whenever you wake up, whenever you, like, have the most energy. Whatever it's trying to say. It's just what the stats say. Uh, repeating, of course. <laughs> Never mind. Whatever. Shit. Uh, well, I want to be in this nice clearing. That, let's give it a little power this time. Nice shot! Oh, I got something to mention. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned it before or not. Uh, I bought my tickets for Hoenn Tour. That's gonna come up in February. And I know what uh, some of you people are saying. You're saying, you know, what the hell is Hoenn Tour? Is that some Pokemon shit? You'd be absolutely right, man. Pokemon Go Hoenn Tour. Uh, way too hard, but it's okay. Ow, 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 ow. Um, so... Hoenn Tour is going to be in LA this year, so that'll be kind of sick. Um, it's in the Rose Bowl, which I did not order early enough to get into, so instead I'm on the golf course next to uh, the Rose Bowl. This is the key. Mm. Right. So... I got the ticket, uh, me and the homies, we rented the Airbnb, that's sick with it. Yeah, 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 right. And we're gonna be taking, I believe, uh, I don't wanna click off the thing, maybe it'll work. Here, let me just give a quick whoopsie loo at my calendar. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we go to February. It's going to be February 17th and 18th, that weekend. 19th is President's Day or something like that. So we get that Monday off, which is sick for the homies because the homies don't have to come back on Sunday. Jill and I are gonna be leaving Friday the 16th. We're gonna be playing at Santa Monica Pier, which is like one of the biggest Pokemon hotspots in the world. So that'll be fun. We're gonna meet up with some other friends that are gonna be playing uh, this, they call it like the city day, uh, citywide day. You get extra shinies, you get, uh, extra raid passes, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna be playing that day. Saturday will be the day we're on the golf course. Uh, again, we wish could be in the Rose Bowl, but, you know, uh, what are you gonna do? That's why you gotta plan it as the second they announce it. And then Sunday, Sunday is like a day where we just get to hang out all day. Why do I have an alarm here? You don't need that alarm. You got the cats for that. So I figure I go visit my grandma that Sunday because... <laughs> okay, get this, right? So, Hoenn Tours in the Rose Bowl. So that's Pasadena in LA. And if you don't know anything about anything about LA, uh, just get a map, you know? My grandma lives in Monterey Park. Which is like 30 minutes from the Rose Bowl. And that's accounting for traffic. That's so freaking fracking close. It's ridiculous. In fact, our Airbnb is whatever. Doc's my grandma. Who cares? No one's gonna go stalk Grandma Amy. She's she's big chilling. Okay. Um what was I talking about? That's it. I'm gonna have to ban this mod. Keep it down. Kidding, I won't ban you, because then last time, uh, if I ban Jill, she'll lose her mod status. Um, nice shot. What was I talking about, though? Oh, yeah, our Airbnb will be in Monterey Park, so we can visit our grandma Sunday. Um, and then we make our trip, uh, the commute back on Monday. Easy money. Let's give it a little less, just, oh. 
I don't know about this shot. This shot's looking... If I hit the grass, I should have bucks backspin it. If I didn't hit the grass, I should have front top spinned it. I think this is it right here. Ooh, oomph it. Maybe I should have gone the... Oh, ow, 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 ow. It does look like I woke up Jill, though. And for that, I am sorry. I was trying to be low energy and talk quiet. That makes you feel better, Jill. Love you. But yeah, Hoenn Tour is going to be sick. It's going to be a whole hell of a lot of fun. That's for sure. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. This could be it. This could be the one. think if I have anything else to report to y'all. Oh, I have something to report to y'all. Election season's coming up. That's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Uh, election season typically also means a shit ton of research. It also means um, and this is where I'm getting to. I have a friend that is currently running for the city council of my town. Uh, and he requested that I make a short recording about how, you know, he would do well for the community, am I right? Now my issue is we differ a little bit on the political spectrum. So what does that mean? Nice Gonna have to endorse someone who there might not share the freaking same values as I do. But here's the kicker. If I help them through this endorsement process, which I already have, I've already gone out and handed out flyers. Uh, and doing that, uh, what the hell? All right, well, it's just a big asset. Has put me in a position uh, to where I can basically use him as a reference, like, oh, hey, you know, uh, what am I trying to say here? It boils down to Oh my god, my brain is broken. If I help him, I could use him as a reference saying, hey, I've done political work, you know, like that. I also am in touch with city councilman, uh, whatever his name is, you know? Jill's worried about me doxing, getting us doxed, but I don't think we're gonna get doxed ever. Because only like five people watch these videos. <laughs> uh, anyways. What the hell kind of butt is this? This is not looking good. Let's put it right there. Do I hit it harder? Do I hit it softer? I hit it right there. Right in the middle. So go down, come around. There you go. I don't know what I was talking about. To go on the plateau. Uh, how does that nice shot. I don't know how plateau goes. You know the meat puppets? They have that song plateau that Kurt Cobain does a rendition of during the Nirvana Unplugged. With the meat puppets. can't think of it because all I care about is Lake of Fire. Oops, I shouldn't have top spun it. Oh 
Oh yeah, this is it, man. Too hard. Holy shit. There we go. Nice ball. Didn't even show me the cup and I knew it was going in. Now we're talking. Oh, I won? Nice. That was the 18th hole. That's a cool 18th hole where it's around the uh, waterfalls. Next course will be the sand dunes. That one's a little bit more of a challenge. That one will be fun. Anyways, uh, sorry my brain broke towards the end of the video there. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a different type of frequency that we're, we're operating on. You know what I'm saying? But if you like the video, uh, definitely give it a follow on the channel. Follow slash subscribe, you know. Uh, like the video and uh, leave a comment about, hey, Neil, your brain's broken. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Take care, y'all.